Uh, let me go back to answering the important questions that you sent. So the first question was about um, will the light body techniques activate my third eye? Yes, very much. Activating the third eye is a foundational step in uh, bringing more light into the body and transforming the body into light. Uh, so that will definitely happen. As you use the light body techniques, you will naturally activate the third eye. Now I have a question here from a dear lady who explains that she has complicated relationship problems and uh, financial problems and what can she do about that? Now this is very common to human life. So Dr. Pillai is very practical. For those of you that have uh, relationship problems or financial problems, first of all, every day you can practice the short uh, technique that I gave today, it's the simplified version of all of Dr. Pillai's foundational light body techniques. We'll be excerpting that from the Hangout today and posting that on our blog, www.shreemadakata.com.wordpress.com. Now, in addition to that, it's very important that all of you that want to overcome uh, relationship problems and financial problems every day do a very simple karma busting practice which only takes one minute and again if you go to the Asian blog and then uh, type in the keyword of karma busting you will come up with uh, videos where I tell you exactly how to do the technique and it only takes one minute also, the most important practice to bring into your daily practice is tarpanum. And tarpanum is an offering to your ancestors. So again, on our blog, you would type in the word tarpanum. And again, I have a video where I walk you step by step through the practice of giving offerings to your ancestors, which can dramatically transform your life because we're often experiencing the problems that our ancestors had because our ancestors are close at hand, near us, and they're wanting to be liberated into light. When you do tarpanum, you can also help your ancestors to leave this plane and to have total release into light. So that's a very practical question. Uh, now I have another question about uh, how is the practice of working with the midbrain related to the light body techniques. So the midbrain will definitely be activated by light body techniques. And for an example, in the short condensed practice that I gave you today, the midbrain was activated by the nectar that oozed out from the golden lotus. So even if you use the short, simple technique that I taught today that will help you to activate the midbrain. If you want additional techniques on activating the midbrain, Dr. P. Lai gave an excellent program on midbrain miracle method, and you can find those videos on the Pillai Center YouTube channel. You would just type in Pillai Center and then all of Dr. Pillai's uh, videos are there. Now, um, here's a question from a person that recently had a surgery, and they want to know if the light body technique can heal the disease behind the surgery. This is a very important practical question and something that I expressed previously that I'm very passionate about. Yes, the foundational stage in the light body is the disease-free body. Until we're free of diseases, we cannot permanently transition into a state of utter bliss and joy and light. And especially this year, Dr. P. 
Community Live will be focusing very specifically on sending blessings to everyone for a disease-free body. So this is a critical year to really focus on the body and remove the diseases from the body so that we can avoid the future suffering that is yet to come. And this will be an important uh, stage in Dr. P. Lai's Light Body Mastery Program, which I'll speak about later on. Uh, then we have a person here who says again that uh, she loves our techniques and all of the trainings, but she feels herself stuck in uh, low resonating fear patterns and she can literally feel a vortex around her. Again, I would highly recommend that in addition to the condensed light body technique that I gave earlier in the Hangout today, it's so important every day for everyone to do a simple karma busting practice and a simple tarpanam practice. Each one of those practices only take one minute. And you can clear yourself at the beginning of every day from the, all the stuck patterns that are holding you back. That's your karma. So you clear it up at the beginning of, of the day with a one-minute technique. And then you offer an offering to your ancestors that feed their souls. And this technique is very powerful so that you don't have the problems emanating from your ancestors uh, hanging around you during your day. You can clear yourself at the beginning of the, of the day in these very simple ways. Now I'd like to um, take some questions from those of you that are watching the program live. So you'll see uh, near your viewing window there should be a chat um, component and you can just enter your questions into the chat. So I'll just give you a minute now where you can enter your questions there. And in the meantime, I'd like to mention that Dr. Pillai's Light Body Mastery Program starts May 4th. Again, I'll be speaking about that later because this is really the most incredible and precious opportunity that Dr. Pillai has ever offered for people to study with him in a way that he hasn't offered in the entire 20 years that I've been studying with him. So this year marks a very important phase in Dr. Pillai inviting people into his private universe of his own transformation of his body into life, into light. He'll be doing that in the Light Body Mastery Program. So um, now I'll just take a few questions live that are with us. <laughs> 